Diego, I got to introduce you to Dr. Juan Rivera, who is a professor today at uh, San Diego City College. Good yes. morning. Good morning. Now, what a remarkable story you have, because before you went through the schooling, before you came up, be, got your PhD, uh, became a professor at City College, yes. back in the day when you were younger, you were a uh, farm worker. You, yes, you I'm like family. a farm yes, worker. Tell me about that. Well, my first paycheck was picking apricots in San Jose, California. I could see Stanford. I didn't know what it was. Yeah, with my parents. Yeah, with your parents. And you also were part of a music group when you were younger. And you marched alongside Cesar Chavez. Yes, uh, at San Diego State, back in the 1970s, Dr. Jose Pepe Villarino started La Rondalla Merindia de Atzlan. So a bunch of college students, and then we started singing protest music and writing the songs about the, uh, the, the, the protests in each city throughout California and other places. Um. Dr. Rivera, why is it important today to remember the life and legacy of uh, Cesar Chavez? Well, the way I like to think about it is the food we eat on all our tables every day comes from farm workers. So it starts there. We keep our hearts solid, our feet on the ground. We remember what we're all about as human beings. So Caesar stood for that. He has, he, he has 10 virtues that kids all over San Diego are working on and learning to be, develop their character and pursue a higher education. So wonderful. I know, I know you, you're here with a full table of other, uh, with the dean and other dignitaries from City College. So, of course, that is what this breakfast is all about. I think you explained it best. Uh, you know, remembering Cesar Chavez as the civil rights leader, the labor movement activist that he was that really changed the lives of so many families, really around the country. Yes. Yes. And, and a shout out to our president who's supporting this event and bringing me and others. Uh, it's been great to Caesar believed in education. One of the things about Caesar was he always carried a book. And in our audios, it was embarrassing to carry a book. But he stood for that, and we stand for education as well. Wow, you have gone through so many different things. I mean, to conquer, uh, to go from where you started, to be able to attain that PhD. Walk with me over here, uh, Dr. Rivera. So proud to call you Dr. Rivera. Uh, I mean, this is, you are the true example of how Caesar Chavez wanted to build strength in the community and uh, diversify yes. the workforce, diversify careers. Yes, it's all cultures. It's wonderful. The first strike in California was started by Filipinos. It was a week later. And that's one of the songs that, uh, that Chunky's brother will sing tonight. I'm right here at the event. Uh, and so, yeah, it's diversity all the way around. Yeah, this is fantastic. Thank you so much uh, for sharing your story with us. Dr. Juan Rivera, professor, Ph.D. at San Diego. City College. Appreciate it. Thank you Thank so much. You. Enjoy the breakfast. Okay, I am going to let Dr.